The medial hamstrings, otherwise known as the semimembranosus and semitendinosus heads of the hamstring, pass through both the knee joint as well as the hip joint, therefore they enter what's called active insufficiency when shortened at the hip joint prior to initiating knee flexion. An example of an exercise that does this, the lying leg curl. They enter what's called passive insufficiency when lengthened at the knee joint but shortened at the hip joint. If you want to stretch those muscles to the best of their capacity, you want to pick an exercise that allows them to be lengthened at every joint that they pass through. A lying leg curl is not going to do that for you. Good example is of exercises that will allow this, that will facilitate that, the seated leg curl and the Romanian deadlift. These exercises will allow you to train that muscle in its longest position, whereas a lying leg curl will allow you to train that muscle in its shortest position. This should influence the way you do what you do, depending on why the fuck you're doing what you do in the first place. And as a result, if you like this information, share it with other like-minded individuals who would benefit from it. Support me by clicking the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at and subscribing to the channel, and I'll continue to bring you the best information that you're gonna find as it relates to training to build muscle, get stronger, lose fat, look better, perform better, all that fucking shit.